Now on Driven, we travel back into time to when Model T's ruled the road and Ford factories changed the world. You may be stepping in the same place where Henry Ford walked. And in those footsteps, the next generation of innovators soon will follow. And the stunt drivers that brought history to the big screen. We go back to the future, Tim Lizzie style. So buckle up, Driven is straight ahead. A short six mile trip from the world renowned French Quarter of New Orleans is beautiful St. Bernard Parish. Quick side note, as you might have noticed, Louisiana does things differently. So a parish is like a county to the rest of the country. Here, the St. Bernard Rodknockers, a local car club, take to the parish's scenic St. Bernard Highway for their annual cruise. Their first stop is at an old factory located on the Mississippi River. For these vehicles and these drivers, this is a pilgrimage to a monument of American innovation and to the birthplace of the modern automobile. This is the old Ford assembly plant in Araby. Almost a hundred years old, this factory helped to change everything and may do it again. Today, the owner of the plant is Sidney Torres, and he's taking us back to the future. We are walking into the past right here. Yeah, we Sydney. are. It's a past where a man with a revolutionary vision was changing every aspect of American life. What part of the past are we walking into right now? Well, if we want to go back to the beginning, this is uh, Henry Ford, who had the building uh, designed by Albert Kahn. Uh, in the 20s, Henry Ford determined that it made more sense to assemble the vehicles outside of Detroit. And so uh, he hired Albert Kahn to design an assembly plant, one of which was built right here in Araby. Why would he pick Araby? What was it about this area that Henry Ford would decide to build a plant in the 20s? Uh, location, it's on the Mississippi River. There's rail access. Uh, he envisioned uh, exporting the vehicles to South America. And uh, it was an urban community where he could sell cars. There was a workforce up to close to a thousand, which at that time might have been as much as 20% of the population of St. Bernard. And uh, they were actually producing record numbers in this very location of Model T's. The automobile revolution was something that was transformative economically, geographically. Uh, as a result of the Model T in the affordability, people could connect from urban areas to cities. There became a need to build roadways. Along the roadways, they had to build accommodations, motels, gas stations, and diners. And, uh, you know, as they say, the rest is history. So Mr. Ford had his assembly line right here. Right where you're standing. And as a result of the assembly line, he was able to build the vehicles quicker and cheaper. He went from 25 hours to build the vehicle to 2.5. His genius was, when the cost came down, he didn't put the money in his pocket, he passed it on to the customers. So people all over could afford the cars. It ended up there were 15 million Model Ts on the road, and he didn't even have to advertise. How many a day were cranked out of this plant? 300. And where you're standing here now, going back approximately 100 years, there would have been 400 people at any given time cranking out those 300 vehicles around the clock. 24 hours a day? 24 hours a day. 300 a day, right here. Right here. But there was such a pent up demand that they still couldn't produce them fast enough, but in this very facility, they were breaking records. And uh, another thing Henry Ford did was, uh, he actually shortened the shifts that the people would work. He raised their salaries. And uh, people say, why did he do that? Well, it was the right thing to do because he got more productivity, but he also afforded the people the opportunity to buy the vehicles they were building. You have a 1923 Model T. I do. It was uh, built the same year this facility opened. And it still runs. Still runs. There it goes. Yeah. Listen to that. Pretty cool, huh? I hope I start when I'm <laughs> almost 100 years old. 
Ready? I'm ready. Let's drive into the pass. When you sit in this car and drive, what do you think about behind, besides the difficulty of having the accelerator and brakes switched around? What do you think about when you're tooling around in a 1923 Model T? Uh, the simple life, <laughs> and also not to run into anything. He should worry more about his tin Lizzie when someone else is behind the wheel, driving in a factory designed by architect Albert Kahn. Albert Kahn was the most famous industrial architect of his time. He, in his own right, is a legend. Albert Kahn is the father of the Detroit skyline, the man who built Detroit into a mecca of automotive production and modern architecture. From the Fisher Building to the GM Building to the Packard Automotive Plant, this is the Packard Plant today, abandoned, its history left to fade. This would not be the future of the Araby Ford Plant, now on the National Register of Historic Places. What do you see when you walk through this building now? I see a very historically significant building that needs to be historically restored, first and foremost. I also see, for the future, developing it as a sustainable venue for creative industries. And between film, digital, interactive media, combined with a large, multi-purpose event center, I see people congregating here, I see it assisting in redeveloping this community. Events and soirees already take place here, and tech, trends, and virtual reality will soon follow, all following in the tracks of the Model T. The assembly line doesn't exist any longer, but you can feel the energy of what happened here and what might happen here. Exactly. You know, the spirit that you feel, the energy that you feel uh, is right in line with the vision that we have to create this as a hub for the creative industries. Is the creative spark you're going to light here in this building going to change America? I hope so. From the banks of the Mississippi, we get some final thoughts on the future of this old Ford plant. So you not only see the past, you see the future of this area in this building. I do, I do. Because the same things that made this location desirable to Henry Ford still exist today. St. Bernard is a very desirable venue uh, to locate businesses and for people to live. Uh, this particular plant is located in Araby, Louisiana, which is rated the sixth fastest growing suburb in America. And what you want to build here is a creative hub. Are people saying, sitting here, you're, you're crazy? They are, and I think they said that about Henry Ford. And, uh, and I may be crazy, though. The ghost of Henry Ford pops up right here, right now. What does he say to Sidney Torres? Go for it. Henry Ford's ghost may not be here, but his spirit lives on in the future of his old assembly plant in Araby, Louisiana. Time to drive back to the future and leave the past behind. But in the meantime, stay driven, my friends. I'm not gonna get this car to move.